So basically, I just came from Dairy Queen. I had to buy some ice cream. It's uh, really blazing today. It's like 35. And as far as I know, there's smoke coming from all over uh, our province. Uh, it's just uh, chalky. You look up in the sky, and all you see is like cloud, but it's really all smoke from the fire. And I don't know, I had to get some ice cream to cool down, but also something sweet to eat because it's hard to breathe. Uh, as for being at Best Buy, I was there for to check out which gaming laptop I'm gonna get and which uh, digital camera I'm gonna get to do video recordings. And I think I'm gonna get the DJI uh, camcorder. Reason is it's 4K resolution. Uh, what else? It's uh, waterproof and yeah, it's pretty much the best camera to vlog. And they're coming up with a new one, but it won't be up for another month or two. So I have to wait until then. And then I have my new camera. As for my laptop, I'm getting a Dell Alienware. Dell Alienware R3, which is pretty fast for downloads, uploads, video editing, uh, gaming, and list goes on and on. Uh, this video is basically for to talk about what type of lymphoma I, I have, and that is the large B cell lymphoma, which basically uh, uh, different parts of the body, uh, different blood cells uh, piles up and then eventually clogs up and then becomes a tumor. So basically, I gotta do six months, maybe more, of chemo treatments and then it should be gone. Uh, as for most people that do it, when they do the treatments, uh, they do the treatments between six months to a year and then after that it's gone and then it doesn't usually come back. If it does come back, it comes back at a late age of their lives. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's basically it. Look up large B cell lymphoma cancer, Google it, and I'll give you an explanation on the page, uh, which no one wants to hear the whole thing, but basically it just clogs up the blood and uh, different parts of the body. And yeah, all you need to do is do chemo treatment and it's gone. So, yeah, I just wanted to do the update for that. And uh, my mindset's a little more clear now. I could uh, talk like my old self. Not that I'm talking like my old self right now, but I feel better than I was last week or two weeks ago, I can tell you that. And next week, I'm going in for my next chemo, blood work, and other stuff, which sucks, but has to be done. And at the same time trying to bear this heat with this freaking smoke all over the place it's just smoke smoke from fires so yeah uh, right now at the library of Vancouver and it's a funky place cool buildings I'm on the rooftop basically just hanging on the roof getting some air some breeze and giving you guys an update with my large B cell lymphoma cancer. So, as I like to say always, look around you, help others, give your time when you can, and try to make a difference in someone's life. You just never know it could be. It could be a stranger, it could be a relative, it could be a friend. All you need to do is just get out there, look around, and sometimes even just saying hello or even Listen to someone's story, that, that makes a difference in someone's lives.